Hi everyone, my name is Tridhan and I welcome you all with a very big heart. In today's lesson, we will talk about how do we understand and use real life situations in English language. Let's get started. The first situation is called always true situation. Let's write it here. Something that is always true. Something that is a general fact. Let's understand this using an example. The first example here is, if you heat ice, if you heat ice, what happens? What's the next th thing that you, that you see that happens? It starts to melt automatically. It is the universal rule. It is the general truth of life. If you heat it, it starts to convert itself into liquid form. And that is what we describe in the second box, which is the result part. It melts. So, to talk about real-life general fact situations, we use if, then we use a situation in present, which is the verb here. Is it the first form of the verb, second or third? Heat, heated, heated. It is the first form of the verb. So, to talk about real situations with if, you use the first form of the verb. So, I will write it here for you. First form. We also call it the base form of the verb for your easy reference. After comma, when we talk about result, we again use the first form of the verb, which is melts here. And it is same to same. So please remember, whenever you're talking about a general fact in life, in the first part of the sentence, use a real life situation in present and in the second part, use the, the result in present. Let's understand it using the second example. If it rains, it rains again in the present form, base form of the verb. Rain, rained, rained. It is in the base form, the first form. The result is the grass gets wet. wet. Now, what is the base form of the verb in the result clause? gets. The grass gets wet. It is the general truth of life. We are following these examples, correlating it with the, with the main sentence that is the structure that is written here in black for your reference. It is if situation in present using first form reigns and then I which is not necess necessary. It really depends on the result. We use result in the present using first form which is gets here. Third example, if people eat junk food, what happens? They have love handles around them, they have double chins at times, well, not offending anybody. That's the basic phenomena. Now, the situation is if people eat junk food, base form of the verb, eat. In the result part, we talk about they get fat. Now, what is the base form of the verb here? It is get fat which is very, very important. So basically, when you talk about real life situations that are a general truth, universal truth, we call it always true situation, always happens. You use if, situation in present, and the result in present by using first form in both the types of sentences. Let's quickly move on to the next one. This was all about real life situations. Now, in the next one, we have a situation that is quite likely to happen. This happens all the time, but it is not a surety that it will happen all the time. It is quite likely to happen. For example, it goes like this. It is always happening, quite likely, unlikely, never happening. So it is on the second part. It is quite likely to happen. So I'm going to write it here. There are chances that it will happen. Not that it will not happen. There are chances that it will happen. For example, let's understand it using example number one. If it rains, if it rains, I'm using the if word and the base form of the verb rains. In the result part, second box, I am saying, I will not go to the park because I will get wet or I don't like rains or whatever it is. I'm using will not go. So basically two important words, will and go. 
will I'm using to talk about result in the future. So when you're talking about situations that are quite likely to happen in future, you use will plus first form, base form of the verb. And therefore, if it rains, I will not go to the park. If it rains, I will not attend the party or anything like that. Let's move to the second example. If I study, so I'm using a situation that is in present. If, by using if, study. Please keep correlating the situation box and the result box with the marker sentence which is written in black for your reference because this is the structure that we always use. The result is I will not, second one, if I study, I will pass the exam. I will pass the exam. So I'm using will and pass. Pass is the first form. The first form remains pass, passed, passed. I'm using the first form. Going with the rule, will plus first form. If I study, I will pass the exam. If I make the video, you will watch it. Now, let's move to the third one. If the train delays, if, being the conditional form, train delays, delay being the base form of the verb. I describe the result in the second box. She will be late. Always, always make sure that whenever you're talking about situations that are likely to happen, you use will and base form, which is be of the verb. This was all about real life situations, to describe real life situations when it comes to examples in English language. But here is something very interesting that I would like to show you. Now, this is the general trend that I've seen most of the times people using when they speak in English. If it would have rained, I would have not gone. Now, this is something quite interesting because they are using would have in the first part of the sentence and would have in the second part of the se sentence. Absolutely wrong. That is how we do not speak uh, about real life situations when it comes to talking about sentences in English. I hope this lesson helped you understand better how to talk about real life situations. If you want to watch it again, do for your better understanding. Please drop in a comment to let me know how you liked, um, if you liked the video and also do let me know what you would like to study next. This was Hridan and thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great day.